Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Goose Island Beer Company, and they are based out of Chicago, Illinois. And this is their Bourbon County brand stout, the Backyard Variant. Or maybe I should really call it the Backyard Stout Variant. This is uh, coming out for 2023. I'm really looking forward to this one uh, because this is a stout aged in bourbon barrels with mulberries, boysenberries, and marionberries. And I will say, boysenberries and marionberries are like some of my favorite berries out there. So, uh, let's see. There's an ABV here somewhere. Looks like 12.9% ABV. It says enjoy before October of 2028. So we're good there. Enjoy in a snifter. One pint, one pint, point nine fluid ounces. And does Untap say anything else? No. Well, good. <clears throat> yeah, I have had Marionberries and boysenberries only from when I'm visiting my family out in uh, the great state of Washington. So I'm excited for this one. Uh, I was just out there this year actually visiting and I had marionberry pie. It was really good. I'm gonna pour this kind of hard, see if I can get a head on it. The last one I did not get much of a head at all. Yeah, the slight bit of a head that is very quickly dissipating. I poured out about half a finger of, I'm gonna say it's a khaki colored head. I don't know if it's just me because of the bottle and the Marion berries, but I feel as if there it has a slight reddish tinge to it. The color of the beer itself is an extremely dark brown. You can see the brown at the bottom of the glass here when I hold it up to the light. A little dirty glass mafia. Zoom in for you. Again, fairly spritzy. It looks well carbonated for a barrel aged beer. <clears throat> Let's get a nose on her after I catch my breath. I could smell it from here though. All right. That smells awesome. Oh, I'm trying to remember this type of chocolate candy that I've had. Anyway, so what I'm getting is chocolate and berries. And I can picture this, this, it's a rather pricey, because I only have it once in a blue moon, rather pricey candy, uh, they're a bag of chocolates, but it's actually like berries that are coated with chocolate. Um, I know they had like blueberries coated in chocolate, but they're kind of like freeze dried, I would say, blueberries coated in chocolate, um, cherries, and, I wanted to say almost pomegranate as well, and I think that was my favorite, and that's kind of reminding me of this, but I'm not saying I'm getting pomegranate on the nose. It's very much more of a berry note. Yeah, this, it smells like that. It smells like those candies of the blueberries uh, coated in chocolate. Smells amazing. Um, slight oak and uh, oaky and bourbon notes as well on the nose, but primarily I'm getting chocolate and berry. Yeah, kind of on that last like real quick but yet long uh, deep whiff is when I'm getting the uh, uh, oak and, and bourbon notes.
It smells amazing. Alcohol legs for sure. Slight lacing from the little head that is left. I'm diving in. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. I literally just, at the time of this review, um, I'm still having uh, Thanksgiving leftovers, and this is a nice dessert drink. I just had yet another course of Thanksgiving uh, dinner, and this is this is really hitting the spot. So, very similar body mouthfeel as the Banana Foster's version. It's a uh, medium body. Um, it is spritzy again. Like I, I, it's very well carbonated. I'm feeling it on the tip of my tongue. At the same time, it's got a smoothness to it too. That's um, very nice. All right. In terms of the flavor, you're definitely getting that chocolate, and and the the it's like a mix of blueberries and 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 blackberry flavors. Up front, you're getting hit with the chocolate. Midway through, you get the berries. And then, kind of lingering on the palate, you're getting the, the bourbon and the barrel aged notes. I'm really glad I picked these two up. Uh, last year, I wasn't able to get any of the variants. So I saw these, I, I got these two. So I got this, the Backyard Stout. I got the Banana Foster and the, uh, just the regular 2023 uh, Stout this year. And I'm glad I, I did. It was a little pricey, but I think it's well worth it. Actually got two of the 2023, you know, regular versions so I could keep one for next year. So, uh, enough rambling, back to the beer. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like, but I think that's kind of what a, a, a Marion Berry is, is this like genetically modified, it's a mix of like a blueberry and a, and a blackberry. It looks like a really large blackberry. But um, that's primarily what I'm getting is this like, Blueberry, blackberry notes, also this this hint of a red berry, which uh, you know what, it might be the mulberry. I take that back. But this is really nice. Um, sure, it's sweet, but it is not cloyingly sweet at all, like a, a you know pastry stout. Um, this has got a nice balance of sweetness along with um, the base stout beer. Yeah, this is really good. All right, so uh, Goose Island Beer Company, their Backyard Stout variant of the Bourbon County brand stout, 2023 version. I'm giving this one I gave Banana Foster a 4.5. I like this more than the Banana Foster, so I'm gonna give this like a 4.6. I'm gonna give this a 4.6 out of five. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So that's all for this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Let me know, have you had the Backyard Stout variant and what did you think of it? Until next time, peace.